Well, it looks like there's still dissatisfaction with communication here. Mm -hmm. I saw the survey results, and I understand that the two of us will be heading up the efforts to improve this area. Now, if you could just bring me up to speed on this, because I've only been here for a year. Yep. Um, it's my understanding that these ratings haven't changed since last fall. Yeah, that's right. Let me give you just a short history about what's going on. Um, a couple years ago, we took our first climate survey, and the results showed a very low rating for the question, I'm satisfied with communication in the organization. So the executive team was very concerned about this. They formed a task force, and Fairly soon after that, the task force came up with a couple of recommendations that they then implemented. Uh, a couple of those recommendations were to spruce up the newsletter. What they wanted to do is make it glitzier. They thought that would increase the readability and the readership. And then they also included more personal information, such as people's uh, employees' uh, hobbies and birthdays and that type of thing. Another thing that they did is to increase the frequency and the amount of information sent to employees via email. Things such as uh, departmental updates, promotions, company news, that type of thing. So here we are, the two of us, and we have the second survey results in front of us. And what we've seen is even with, you know, after these changes have been implemented, the results show absolutely no change in the satisfaction levels with communication. So that's our job. Well, it sounds to me that they really jumped the gun on making a lot of their recommendations. Did they rely on any other information to base these recommendations on? You know, not that I know of. Uh, and then another issue that I'm hearing is even with, uh, even with our surveying, employees feel frustrated because they feel that we haven't heard or really understood their concerns because now, they're, they're getting a proliferation of information, much of which really doesn't pertain to them at all. Well, let's look at this a bit. Just based on the information that you provided, it sounds like the task force interpreted dissatisfaction with communication to mean a couple of things. First, that employees want more information and they want it via email. And secondly, that sprucing up the newsletter and including personal information will increase employee satisfaction. Now, are these fair assumptions? You know, I really don't think so. So let's look at, at how can we address this issue a little bit s more strategically. I think we need to probe into the issue into a little more detail. I mean, just looking at satisfaction or dissatisfaction with communication, it could mean so many things. Look at some of the possibilities. Feeling adequately informed. Being able to approach a supervisor with a question or a concern. Receiving updates on projects being involved in decision making, being asked questions, understanding company direction. I agree. I think we really do need to dig deeper. One option is that we could hold a focus group, uh, and which allows us to probe into more detail about how employees feel about communication, and, and then we just see what surfaces. And we could include a short survey asking about employee satisfaction, about some of the issues that you just mentioned, for example, and then we could ask them to explain the reason for their ratings. Um, and then for issues that we think we may not be catching, we could include a, a general question at the end, such as, if you could improve communication in the organization, what would you do? Sounds logical to me. It's premature to make recommendations. We'll have to wait and see what results. After all, what we think the issue is may not be the issue at all. Exactly. Why don't we meet up a little bit later today and see if we can't develop a list of some potential focus group questions and then we'll take it from there. Well, we certainly have a clearer picture after conducting those focus groups. Absolutely. No wonder the rating for satisfaction with communication didn't change at all from the first survey. What we heard in every focus group, and this was confirmed by redistributing surveys, was that employees feel like they're missing important communication. Um, namely, some things that they want to know are why a particular decision is being made, not just what the decision is. In other words, they want the rationale mm -hmm. of the decision. They also want to know how a decision impacts them, not just how it impacts the organization, and lastly, rather than always sounding like cheerleaders, they want managers to discuss some of the potential downsides of a change or what the negative aspects could be, not just the upside and not just the potential benefits. I agree. 
these results certainly give us a whole lot more to work with. I think we're at a point now where we can suggest ways to reorient communication to better address these needs.